Good morning, brothers and sisters in Christ. The lowly servant here. Welcome to my channel. Today is April 15, 2021, Thursday of the second week of Easter. The Gospel said, The Father loves the Son and has given everything over to Him. Let's have a listen and reflect on it after. The first reading is from the Acts of the Apostles. When the court officers had brought the apostles in and made them stand before the Sanhedrin, the high priest questioned them. We gave you strict orders, did we not? To stop teaching in that name. Yet you have filled Jerusalem with your teaching and want to bring this man's blood upon us. But Peter and the apostles said in reply, we must obey God rather than men. The God of our ancestors raised Jesus. Though you had him killed by hanging him on a tree, God exalted him at his right hand as leader and savior. To grant Israel repentance and forgiveness of sins, we are witnesses of these things. As is the Holy Spirit whom God has given to those who obey him. When they heard this, they became infuriated and wanted to put them to death. Responsorial Psalm The Lord hears the cry of the poor. I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall be ever in my mouth. Taste and see how good the Lord is. Bless the man who takes refuge in him. The Lord hears the cry of the poor. The Lord confronts the evildoers. To destroy remembrance of them from the earth. When the just cry out, the Lord hears them. And from all their distress he rescues them. The Lord hears the cry of the poor. The Lord is close to the brokenhearted. And those who are crushed in spirit he saves. Many are the troubles of the just man. But out of them all the Lord delivers him. The Lord hears the cry of the poor. Alleluia, Alleluia. You believe in me, Thomas because you have seen me, says the Lord. Blessed are those who have not seen, but still believe. Alleluia, Alleluia. The Gospel according to John. The one who comes from above is above all. The one who is of the earth is earthly and speaks of earthly things. But the one who comes from heaven is above all. He testifies to what he has seen and heard. But no one accepts his testimony. Whoever does accept his testimony certifies that God is trustworthy. For the one whom God sent speaks the words of God. He does not ration his gift of the Spirit. The Father loves the Son and has given everything over to him. Whoever believes in the Son has eternal life. But whoever disobeys the Son will not see life. But the wrath of God remains upon him. Reflection Salvation is faith in the Son whom the Father loves and to whom he has given everything. God has sent him into the world and he pronounces the words of God and gives the Spirit to all who accept his testimony. And they in turn, in union with Christ, bear witness to the reality of Christ as Head and Savior. This process does not take place through reflection, maturation or human experience, it is solely the work of the Holy Spirit. It is the Spirit who offers the gift of faith, and faith is listening and obedient response to the one who calls. Listening to this voice and responding to it means shifting the center of our life from ourselves to Christ, placing ourselves in Him and understanding ourselves in reference to Christ and above all taking Him as the sole criterion of our life and values. That's the end of the reflection from the Catholic Missal. Subscribe to my channel and click on the notification bell so you won't miss out on my next upload. Be safe and always keep God in your hearts. Peace to all.